Now to a follow-up on the Bear County Commissioners approving those voter registration mailings. Attorney General Ken Paxton is upholding his threat of taking legal action against the program. Paxton is asking a Bear County District Court to temporary temporarily block the program, which is paying to mail more than 200,000 voter registration forms to eligible citizens. Commissioner Justin Rodriguez, who voted for the program, says it is important to send out these forms to potential voters, regardless of political affiliation, so they can take part in upcoming elections. However, Commissioner Grant Moody, the lone Republican on the commissioner's court, says the program is not needed. You know, the way they do the outreach, it is simply based on people who have moved within the county, moved into the county, uh, has nothing to do with partisan politics. What does another 200,000 mail pieces do to her office? Um, they may need additional resources. They may have a massive backlog going into the election. Coming up at 6, what experts have to say about this lawsuit and the battle between legalities and politics. And late this afternoon, the Bear County District Attorney's Office released a statement defending the decision made by the county commissioners. The statement from District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says in part, voter participation and civic engagement is a direct reflection of a healthy democracy. He also says the Bear County Commissioner's Court made a simple yet profound decision to expand participation in our democratic process in Bear County by hiring a third party vendor to perform certain limited targeted outreach services. My office will do everything in its power to defend that decision. In the meantime, congressmen from the Texas Democratic delegation hosted a virtual press call to give their reaction to Paxton's lawsuit. They say Texas has the lowest number of people registered, and with the influx of people moving into the Lone Star State, it means more new voters. Bear County isn't the only one facing legal trouble. Paxton also threatened Harris County for trying to implement a similar program. Two large urban uh, majority minority counties uh, with threats of lawsuits, taking them to court for just sending out a form to help people register to vote, not to send in a mail ballot or to actually cast a vote, but just to register to vote. And we're already number one among the 50 states in difficulty and obstacles to voting. Uh, but uh, this is a devious effort to make us even more solid as ground zero for voter suppression.